Oh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, this video is brought to you by NewQBO.com. So in this video, I'm going to focus on how to make this disappear, track returns for customers. You normally you'll see like this, and you don't like it, so you want to remove it. And this is to make it disappear. So first of all, you understand why it's there. So it has to do with the available, uh, trackable uh, tracking for customers. Uh, so it comes from here whenever you enter expands you know you see billable and customer and uh, so that's what's that for you know it could be uh, billable for anything uh, so if you want to just remove it comes from here so you go to expenses see these two track expenses and items by customer mark expenses and items available so if you remove this now it's off and if you go to uh, any expense forms or any vendor forms uh, check or bill doesn't matter as you can see here uh, the billable and customers uh, columns gone so if you are not tracking uh, billable expenses uh, then you know you can't remove it. Uh, but on the other hand, if you are you have, you have a plus plan and you are tracking uh, those billable expenses, you gotta have that that one on. So uh, now if, if I go to bank deposit form, uh, you won't see it here. So the reason, the reason for being this here is uh, if you have return for anything that's that's billable. Uh, you need to check that box, but so if you don't have it, then you can just uh, uh, turn that off from account and settings and expenses and off off. So that means uh, uh, you know you're not tracking uh, uh, billable items to your customers. Uh, so that's about it. Well, thanks for watching.